Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled day of science. Welcome. So today, you are going to get the opportunity to test out fabric absorbency on your own. Now, I showed you how to do this very, very carefully the other day, and I'm expecting you to do the same on your own, or as you test this, okay? Now, as you test, to make sure you have proper materials and, and adult help and supervision. Now, if you don't have an adult to help you, you might not be able to do this. That's okay. Just do your best to think about what it would be like or what you would do. Okay? You watched our video on Tuesday of me testing fabrics and absorbency, and I'll do a couple more examples here in today's video. Okay? So use this video or Tuesday's video to help you answer today's seesaw prompt. All right? So with adult help and supervision, go ahead and find a clear plastic bowl. Something that can hold water but won't break. And then go ahead and find a straw. So if you don't have one, that's fine. You could use a spoon. I'm using a straw because I have one. And today I found a clear straw, so hopefully it's a little easier for you to see. So after having those things, just holding the bowl and holding the straw, I put my finger on one end of it. I have to use my thumb because there's a big opening on the other end. And then I pick up my straw. After doing that, you can see that there's water in the straw. So from the end here to right there, that line, there's water. This is all air. But up to here, there's water. You can see there's a water droplet trying to come out. And because I touched it, it did come out. See how it's about ready to drop off my finger? Okay. Now, for absorbency's sake, if I put that on my hand, you can tell a little bit. You can see that there's a little bead of water there. Here, I'll put a better one on there. Okay. So you can either tap the object and the water that's on the end of your straw will sit on there, or you can release. So let your finger up on this end, see where my thumb is, and the water that's in the straw will come out. Okay, so if I were to put a drop of water on my hand. I put way too much, so I can't really move my hand around. But you can see there, there's a bubble of water sitting on my hand. And it's not really absorbing into my hand because it takes a little while for water to absorb into your skin. Now, if I sat here for a long time or if I spread the water out, it would absorb into my skin. However, because it's rolling around, it's gonna take a long time to absorb. So I wiped off the extra, but you can see that my hand is still wet. You can even see the little trail of water there of how it drained off my hand. But now, as I rub my skin, I'm not even rubbing very hard, I'm just moving that moisture back and forth. My whole, the top of my hand is a little shinier because I spread out that moisture and it's now on the top of my hand ready to be absorbed into my skin. Okay, so that's one thing you could test on. You could test on your hand. I have another, you can also test on your sweater, your shirt. I will test my sweater here real quick. Yeah, there was a bubble of water, now it's absorbed in. You can see that wet spot there. And it's now sinking into my sweater. You could test your shirt. Okay, so pick up your shirt. 
I have my hand underneath it so nothing gets um, through it. Set the water on there. And as you can see, it absorbed right in. And now there's a wet spot on my shirt right there. Okay. So that's another thing I tested. And then I have, this is something to test how much oxygen is in my blood. I can test that case. It's fabric. I can test it. So I put a droplet of water on it. Let it sit there. And we can see what happens. That's slowly but surely being absorbed in. See how that dark patch is spreading out? That's the water being absorbed into this fabric case. Instead of going straight in. So with my sweater, the water went straight down to my hand. With this pulse oximeter case, see how this is darker right here? The water in that one spot I set it in spread out because of the stitching in the fabric. That's pretty cool. You could test a paper cup if you have one. It's still a material you could test. We Now we are trying fabrics, but you could see what else the water is, will absorb into also. Now notice again, how much water I'm putting on things. Am I putting much water? Can't really tell with the light here, sorry. There you can see the drop. Am I putting much water on things? Absolutely not. Now this won't absorb off, so I'm gonna wipe it on something. But I'm not putting much water on anything at all because I don't wanna make a mess. That's your job, excuse me. That's your job also with your adult when you're testing things. You don't want to make a mess. So I'm not filling up the straw. I'm not drinking. I didn't drink. So like now, the air bubble is right up at the top here. So I just drank the water or sucked the water up the straw so the whole straw is full. If I were testing water absorbency, and I accidentally let all of this out of the straw, that would be a lot of water, right? Here, let's test this. I have a whole, a full tissue, a Kleenex here, and we'll see how wet this tissue gets as it absorbs the water. So I have the straw straight up next to the tissue, and you can see it absorbing the water. Look at the water level go down. Still going down, but this tissue is getting more and more wet. It will be soaked by the time we're done. I'm going to move the straw because it almost, the tissue almost, ah, almost can't take on any more water. Okay, so I let the whole straw of water out in this tissue. It's not moving because it's full of water. Now if you can fill a whole Kleenex, watch, and it easily lets the water back out because it there's too much in it. Okay, now I'm squeezing it out. I'm not letting it air out. I'm squeezing it out. There's still too much water in it. Okay, so there's not much water in here. I have about one, it's about one, to two fingers deep of water in this small container. So all I'm doing is setting the straw in there and then however high your water is, that's how deep, that's how much water will get into the straw. Now there's a little more in the straw than in the tub because the straw was at an angle. Okay, so you don't need much. But go around today testing how absorbent some of your clothing items are. Think of things like shoes, shirts, sweaters, jackets. Um, 
if and only if an adult will let you. Maybe a little bit, a spot on a carpet or a piece of furniture, but only with adult supervision and permission. Okay, those are interesting things to test. But then today in your Seesaw page, tell me what you've learned, what you know, I guess what you saw happen, and then what you're going to do with this information in the future. How will this help you make certain decisions in life? Okay, just share with me what you learned today. Okay, hope you all have a great day. I will see you later and I will see you tomorrow for Field Trip Friday. Goodbye, everyone.